Hello, I'm Ben Maracle. Welcome to where Hollywood is taken seriously. Today, I will be announcing my top five worst movies of 2015. The following films have all received my F minus. I would like to warn you that there are spoilers in this episode. Let's begin. Number five is Jupiter Ascending. Now, if you want to talk about a sci-fi movie that should have landed on the sci-fi network and not in theaters, this is the movie to talk about. This film is a big bad mix of Star Wars, Star Trek, and a dull sci-fi story that Lana and Andy Wachowski thought up. If they were hoping that this would be the start of a new trilogy like The Matrix, they were wrong. Number four is Run All Night. This film has everything an action movie needs, except for two things, a good story and good acting. The plot was a been there, done that type of plot, and I hate those kinds of plots. This film did involve the mob, which I usually like in movies, but this time around, it didn't work at all. You could tell that these two seasoned actors, Ed Harris and Liam Neeson, just did it for the money. If you ask me, this is the type of film that could and should destroy Harris's and Neeson's career. This is Harris and Neeson at their worst. Number three is The Boy Next Door. This poorly made thriller, which I call the Why Even Make It movie, was so bad that it was almost laughable. I can't imagine who would want to waste their precious time watching this thriller that felt more like an episode of Pretty Little Liars than a movie that hit the silver screen. This film should have been a TV movie, or even worse, a straight-to-DVD movie. Number two is Poltergeist. This is a remake of the 1982 film by the same name. Now, I didn't care for the original, but this remake makes the original look like one of my top three favorite horror films of all time. I was hoping that the writers would have added some new plot ideas, but they did not. Instead, they simply just remade it, and the result was one horrible horror film. I would have rather seen a prequel to the original than a horribly written remake. And the number one worst movie of 2015 goes to the comedy Trainwreck. This is a film filled with stupidity, sex, and language. And I guess all of that is supposed to make people laugh? Well, I sure didn't laugh. I found this to be boring, too long, and a total waste of my time. This film has the worst acting I have seen out of all the films I saw in 2015. It also had god-awful writing and god-awful directing by Judd Aptow. I would have rather watched a pot of water slowly being boiled than watch this film again. On a lighter note, I will be announcing my top five best movies of 2015 soon. Thanks for watching, and I hope you keep watching my future reviews and specials. You can like Where Hollywood is Taken Seriously on Facebook. You can also email me at wherehollywoodistakenseriously at gmail.com with your list of top five worst movies of 2015, and I will respond. And remember, this is Where Hollywood is taken seriously.